Hi, so this is my semantic segmentation project. It's uh, using UNET with different encoders and FastAI to identify pixels of a photo as belonging to a car, a human, uh, buildings in the background, road, etc. And here you can see some examples. I have the raw photo, the model's prediction, and then the ground truth. In my workspace, you can see 395 runs visualized. That's how many different experiments I've tried. You can see a bunch of metrics that I care about, like the overall accuracy, uh, the accuracy specifically for traffic. So that's uh, light posts, lights, uh, traffic signs, and signals. You can also see the validation loss and training loss, and all of these seem to be doing pretty nicely. Here, I can also expand my table to see the other metrics that I log, road accuracy, car accuracy, validation loss, encoder type, etc. And I can take notes on individual runs here as well. So right now my runs are sorted by overall accuracy, but let's say I want to find out what the most accurate run is on detecting traffic. And that looks like it's efficient shape 156, which I can click through. And here, you can see that the training loss and validation loss for that run are uh, decreasing nicely and smoothly. And the accuracy, the overall accuracy in red, uh, the car accuracy in orange, and the traffic accuracy in blue, you can see that the overall is kind of in between those two. It's better at cars than traffic because cars are bigger and there's, there's more of them and the lines for traffic signs and posts are, are pretty small details. And Unfortunately, you can see that the human accuracy is stuck at zero here, which is a little surprising. And some things I can do is inspect the validation data examples. And uh, here again, you can see the uh, raw photo, the prediction, and then the ground truth. And as we scroll through these, maybe you will notice that there aren't very many examples of humans, in, at least in this random sample. Um, there are some in this um, image here, and overall, though the model is doing very well, perhaps it's just not seeing enough humans to get a good sense of them. I can also see a bunch more details about this run. I can see uh, where it ran, what the git state was, and even I can return to that git state easily. So I don't need to remember what exact version of the code it was. Uh, I can see all of my initial settings, my configurations, such as learning rate, number of training stages, weight decay, and all of my results here. So all of those uh, class-specific accuracies that I talked about. I can also see how my uh, GPU was working while I trained this. So time spent accessing memory, percent utilization. This is actually doing pretty well, and it's showing both the GPUs on my system. Um, but you can see that there's some, some noisiness. And in general, I could use this to uh, improve my efficiency on my GPUs. You can also see a full description of the different layers of the model, which is really useful for debugging, including the number of parameters and the shapes. You can see all my terminal logs, any files that I saved with this run. And one last awesome detail you can see is uh, the gradients here. So the weights and biases over time, you can see how some of their distributions converge to zero, how some of them are more spread out. And you can also even search for any particular um, distribution if you want to check out a specific layer.